Hey guys, so today I'm here with a comparison uh, between two really unlikely things. Uh, so before we begin, let me just give you a little backstory. Um, earlier today, Apple released iOS 4.3 for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Now this latest update brings some various fixes and tweaks and everything, but probably the most notable thing is that Safari's performance has been really dramatically boosted, most notably in the JavaScript performance area. So I thought, hey, you know, for a laugh, why don't I compare it with Internet Explorer 8? Now IE8 of course is the latest version of the Microsoft browser as Internet Explorer 9 isn't set to actually officially come out of beta until the next month. So this is a fairly decent comparison. Uh, so what I used was of course my iPod Touch 4th generation, cleared out all the apps, all the multitasking, everything I could to ensure optimal performance. Now on the other hand I have a Windows 7 laptop with a 2.1 GHz dual core processor, 4 GB of RAM running the latest version of Internet Explorer 8. The first test I ran is the JS benchmark, which is a solid overall test of JavaScript speed. As you can see, the iPod Touch beat out Internet Explorer 8 by a pretty considerable margin. The second test I ran was the SunSpider benchmark. As you can see here, the iPod Touch was able to finish the entire slew of tests in under a third of the time it took Internet Explorer 8 to finish them. Now be sure to take these results with a grain of salt. I only was able to complete two tests, and both of these tests were 100% based on JavaScript speed. So as far as normal day-to-day -day web browsing, pretty much viewing any website that's not 100% JavaScript, Internet Explorer was faster. However, I still thought that this was pretty interesting to note how far that the iPhone and the iPod Touch have come. 